Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, baby. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry about about uploading. Finals, college, fun. I love college. Don't you guys? Anyway, I'm done with everything now, so uh, more videos are coming. And I'm excited because I've been, I've been, I have like a list of what I wanted to make. It's <laughs> the checklist is coming, baby. Anyway. COD tier list. I have not made a COD tier list on this fucking channel. What the fuck am I doing? Anyway, let's get started, baby. Ghosts. Um, Actually, before we get started, let me add a tier up below. And add never played, because I haven't played some of these Call of Duties. Okay. And I made this tier list, too, by the way. I, I pretty much don't want... To use somebody else's because I am a perfectionist and I want all the games on here. You know, like I didn't include just modern; I included Warzone because Warzone is the same game. I don't, don't care. Anyway, games I haven't played. Okay, COD One, COD Three, was COD Two. COD Two, I haven't played Modern Warfare Remastered. I know, not a fucking, not a true fan. Anyway, the rest of these games I played. So let's get started. Okay. God Ghosts, it's going to be a C. I like God, the only reason why this is not in a D, it's because I love the guns in Ghosts. I'm going to say it, I love the Honey Badge, the, the SM, MSR, the PVW, Blue Weld, just everything. The fucking, uh, what was it, the ACR Burst, or RTX Burst, I'm, I'm thinking about the AW version, but the other version in Ghosts. That one, that's great. I love that gun. Anyway, I just love the guns and ghosts, so that's why it's a C, okay? Everything else, fucking awful, but it's a C because of guns, okay? AEW is going to be a tier above ghosts. I like AW, okay? I think... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think AW is better... Or AW multiplayer is better than BO3 multiplayer. That's a hot take, but you just take it for what it is. Anyway, I think this was a decent game. Not just because of supply drops, but just multiplayer was good, okay? Zombies was a decent experience, okay? The DLC maps, I'm not going to talk about because I know they're shit. I've only, I played Infection. I will talk about Infection. Infection's fucking awful, okay? If you like Infection, you there's something wrong with your brain, okay? Outbreak, though, big fucking W. That fucking map was incredible, okay? I like that map. I like the feel of Outbreak. It was good. It was good. It was a good first map. And that's all I played, really. Um, I like the campaign in this, too. This was a really decent campaign. Anyway, it's a, it's a B experience. VO3, I'm instantly adding the S tier just because of zombies, okay? I know this, I say the multiplayer is better than AW. But zombies just is like, oh my god, can zombies in this game just give me a 12 instrument? It's so good. It's so good. This Just the normal maps were good, right? Shadows is good. The Giant even was good. The Rising Drag, fucking Zedzebo, Garage Trophy. Revelations was good. And then they just piled on Zombies Chronicles. Remade all the World at War maps. Remade all the BO1 maps. Remade Origins. Remade fucking... Oh, dude. Such a good map. Just all the good maps. Okay, everything was good about BO3 in terms of zombies. And that's the reason why it's an S. Because I spent most of my time playing on the, my PS4 playing Black Ops 3 Zombies. And I fucking love it. Every fucking second. Anyway, that's BO3. Multiplayer? Okay, I'll, I will touch on the multiplayer again. I would be like, that's shitty. Anyway, campaign, not good. Okay? It's not, it was not good. Multiplayer, decent. Supply drops ruined it. Just saying. It, but it doesn't matter because zombies is the best fucking thing apart this game. And it's so good. Oh my god. Anyway, let's move on before I uh, have a orgasmic attack. IW is also a B experience. And because this multiplayer right here was actually pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I played some uh, 
I played with the KSP longbow, I think it's called, the sniper. That shit was fun. I love the uh, the gun game in this game. Fantastic. Zombies in Spaceland is also a great addition. I didn't play any of the DLCs, so I, I don't really give a shit about that. Anyway, just a good experience in terms of multiplayer zombies. But zombies in Spaceland is fantastic. World War Two D tier. The only good thing about this game was uh, was the first zombies you met. That was about it. Okay, World War Two is great. Black Ops Four. Fun thing about Black Ops Four. Black Ops Four is a C tier, and the reason why it's in a C tier is because uh, just everything. <laughs> Multiplayer was mediocre. Zombies was fucking ass, except chaos. Chaos it needs to be its own game, okay? They just they just shit on Ether so hard. All the Ether maps were just remakes of the old games. I mean, come on. It's the end of the fucking Ether storyline in that universe. You got to you got to change it up, you know? You you can't just remake shitty maps and call it good, you know? And I think Blundell was more interested in Chaos than Ether at this point because the Chaos maps were fucking incredible, except Voyage. Anyway, yeah, Chaos multiplayer was meh. Chaos saved this game for me, and that was about it. Uh, Blackout. Now, well, now we're getting into some some craziness. Okay, uh, Blackout. I liked Blackout. Okay, I'm not gonna hate on Blackout. Uh, I think Blackout's a B, and because it was COD's first like um, like attempt at VR, I guess. Um, I think personally, I think it needed more time on the oven. I think they needed to fix on like the looting. The looting wasn't that good. They needed a patch like on the fucking game and stuff. The map was good. I liked the map. It was just a bunch of BO one maps and like. Luke Town and like Baruch was in there all in one map. I liked it. I like the map. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I think it need a little bit more time in the oven. So I remember, uh, I was I was lagging quite a bit in Blackout, uh, just because my uh, my my 1050 Ti couldn't handle it for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, that's Blackout. Okay, Modern Warfare 2019. Now, this might scratch some heads. Uh, campaign, great. I made a fucking, I streamed it. Um, some really good memes came out of that from my group. Um, but multiplayer, multiplayer, none of the original maps are good. We, I, in in my entire experience of playing Modern Warfare twenty nineteen multiplayer, I only played two maps. Shipment and shoebox. That was it. That was literally it. That was in public match. The only maps I played was shoehouse and shipment because of the camo grind. And now I'm not gonna say that the camo grind ruined my experience, but like the other maps were fucking horrible for multiplayer. I'm I'm just gonna say it. They're fucking bad. Um yeah, it was it was not a good multiplayer experience. I am not gonna put it at like a C or something. I'm gonna put it at a B, just because me and my friends had a blast and sniper free for alls that we had back in the back in the day. Private match, it was a great experience, but it's not it's not Black Ops Four on Ghost level. Warzone, I like Warzone. Okay, and I miss. I miss looking at the greatest times that I had at Warzone. This game, it, it, it came out at the perfect time because the pandemic just started. Everybody was bored, and then this game came out. Fucking blew the fuck up. And everybody came back to Call of Duty. And that's great. That's fucking great. Um, I'm going to put it in an A. Uh, because I'm thinking about Verdansk and Colt. Or both for both for Danskis, for Danskis, for Dansks, and Rebirth Island. I had a blast in those. Okay, 
Modern Warfare Verdance, Cold War Verdance, and Rebirth Island. I had a blast. But this game started to slow down as soon as Caldera came out. No hate to Caldera, by the way. It's just that the changes that came with Caldera kind of just fucked everything up. You know? And when Caldera was out, me, basically me and my friends just hopped on Rebirth Island because Caldera was just not worth it because of the, the loadout change and all the other stuff. Even on, like the the other ones with all the Modern Warfare and Cold War weapons, it still wasn't worth it. Um, but anyway, yeah. And then Fortune's Keep was good. It just came out the wrong time. It really did. If it was like, if Fortune's Keep came out when like Rebirth was getting popular, and it was like at the end of Cold War Verdansk, that would have been perfect for Fortune's Keep, in my opinion. But they based an entire season around Fortune's Keep and Caldera and the Caldera era. So every, it, it all just got fucked up. But I liked Fortune's Keep. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. So if Fortune's Keep came out earlier, it would be more popular. But yeah. Anyway, that's Warzone. A. Call of Duty Cold War is also an A tier because. I like the multiplayer experience in that game, and I also like the zombies experience in that game. The campaign was great as well. Zombies, I got I got Dark Aether on it, and I enjoyed that grind so much that I stayed. I ruined my sleep schedule multiple fucking times because of this game, because I enjoyed it that fucking much. I really did. I liked. I just liked the the camel grind. It was very very nice. I did not get Dark Matter, though, because fuck Dark Matter in that game. No. But I enjoyed my experience on Cold War. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I liked Cold War. Uh, Call of Duty Vanguard is it's obvious. I'm not even going to explain Call of Duty Vanguard. Okay. It's a D. Um, Modern Warfare 2, baby. 2022, I guess I should say. Now, I added these in because I played, I've gotten Orion on this actually, now that I've thought about it. Um, but it's, I think it's a B. It's a B. Because uh, I didn't really like the maps that much. I mean, there's a couple of maps I liked. It was like a, I liked half the maps and I didn't like half the maps. And I always backed out of the maps that I didn't like. So, I mean, it was fine, but like, whatever. Is this game will probably be moved up to an A just because they're adding uh shipment. They already added shoot house. But those maps should not be a requirement for Call of Duty games. It really shouldn't be. But these new additions to these maps that they're making, the new maps that they're making are just so bad. Like, I don't know why they're so bad. They're just so bad. I I don't get what they're doing over there. Like they're just fucking up the map design. I just don't get it. Anyway, that's a B. I did have a good experience in the camo grind, though. I, I grinded fucking hard for this shit because I was waiting for something to do. Because in Genshin, I was pretty much all done with everything. I was literally just doing my dailies in Resin for like maybe two weeks. I was so bored of that. Anyway, yeah, I, I, I'm glad this game came out when it did because uh, I grinded this shit hard. <clears throat> Now, now let's get into DMZ. Let's have a little conversation about DMZ. And this is going to be very, very controversial, okay? I'm going to throw DMZ in an S. And you want to know why I'm throwing this in an S? It's because I fucking love it. I don't know why I love it so fucking much. I just do. I just love just going into single player, doing missions, okay? With for XP that I don't need because I'm already level 250 because of the camel grind. But I just love getting stuff done. I feel accomplished getting stuff done. And DMZ helps that completionist in me a lot. Okay? It really does. It really does. Okay? Anyway, that's it. That's really it. I love DMZ. And the AI can be tuned down a little bit. That's all I'll say. The AI can be tuned down a little bit. Okay? I hate going into a match with my fully leveled up loadout gun with a lion on it and then getting swarmed by like 20 AI when I'm trying to loot. It's just, it's not a good thing. But I'm still keeping it in S because I fucking love DMZ. Okay? I love it. 
I fucking love it. Anyway, Warzone 2. Warzone 2. Let's talk about Warzone 2 for a second. Solos are fucking bad. And I I have played mostly just solos because our friends have been busy with like work, school, all that shit. And uh, I've just been playing solos. Solos is not a good experience. I feel like I need to experience Warzone 2 more with friends to make an opinion on this. Because I've only really, I've only really played like maybe 20 to uh, like 15 games with my friends in this game. Because that's all I really had time for. Um, I do like the guns because Modern Warfare 2 and Orion, that's just a good one. But I think I'm going to move Warzone 2 to like a, a C. I didn't really like Warzone 2. I'm going to be completely real. Just because of the changes they added to make it like a, a B armor instead of Call of Duty, like in Warzone. Because, like, Warzone, like, okay, this is what I really hate about Warzone 2. Is when you're armoring, you don't sprint. And that really pisses me the fuck off. Also, when a player shoots, it should show his fucking red dot on the minimap. I don't give a flying fuck about that, okay? Also. Icons do not need to disappear after one minute of them being on the map. That's simple. That's stupid. That's a stupid fucking change. Because then you gotta go on your map and ping it again. But when you're getting like your loadout or something, you gotta ping the map. Because the fucking icon will disappear. But then guess what? Your ping will fucking disappear. So you're like, oh fuck, I don't know where the fucking loadout's out. Because it's not fucking on the map where you pinged it. It's stupid. It's a stupid fucking change. Stupid. Uh, that's why it's a seer right now. If they if they change that and they make it, they fix that stuff, and they it's gonna be a B or A. But it's a C right now. It's eh, it's an A. Eh. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. Okay, the good stuff. COD four. I'm gonna put it a B because my experience with COD four is on the Xbox three sixty and every single like. Public match was a modded lobby because I got this game when like what was it? It was like the end of like it was like during AW I think. It was during like AW World War Two around there. And uh I think it was that I don't remember when, but it was around two thousand fourteen, two thousand like fifteen. That's when I got COD 4, and that shit was bad. <laughs> I didn't really have a good, like, public experience with COD 4, but I do respect the campaign. That campaign is fantastic, okay? And I should have played this, you know, to experience the campaign again, but I'm not paying a full 60, okay? Activision, I'm not paying a full 60 for a remastered game. Not happening. Anyway, COD 4 is good. B tier. Uh, World at War is going to be an A for me. I loved everything about World at War. Okay? I did not experience the multiplayer. Just bear that in mind. Because uh, I got World at War the same time I got COD 4. And every time I was switched to like a like a public match, it was modded. So I'm just going to do the campaign and the zombies. Zombies, you can't beat a good old-fashioned World at War zombies. Hell. On my on my fucking computer, I still got World at War installed because there's nothing like going back, hopping into like Duris or something or Knock, and just doing some fucking good old fashioned zombies. Right? You can't go wrong with World at War zombies. Campaign incredible. Okay, this campaign was great. I loved it. Okay, so that's why it's an A. Modern Warfare Two, like classics. I love this game. Um, everybody puts it in S. I'm gonna put it in an A. Um, just because of how broke everything fucking is. Okay. Oh my god. You probably have already heard it from other COD YouTubers or anything like that. Noob tube one man or oh my god. This game was fun, but it was also not fun. You know what I mean? It's not an S for me. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> B01. B01. I'm going to put it in a B. 
Because BO1, everything was decent in that game. There, nothing really went wrong with this game. I like the BO1 multi. I like the BO1 zombie. And I like the BO1 campaign. Nothing really to hate about it. Um, Yeah, nothing really to hate about uh, BO1. Uh, how you blow up the fucking earth and moon in zombies. So, that's fucking awesome. Multiplayer experience, pretty damn good. Campaign, hell yeah. I love, like, the, the Cold War and all that stuff. So, I just gave me a hard on. And, yeah. That's about it, really. I love BO1. Modern Warfare 3? I like Modern Warfare 3. I uh, went back and I played on the IW4 engine, I think. Or IW5, I don't know. I did something with the engine. Plutonium. I don't know. I loved it. Because... Um... The guns in that game are great, and that's why it's going to be. I didn't play the campaign. I should have played the damn campaign. But, uh, yeah, I like this game. BO2 is an S tier all day. There's nothing really wrong with this game. Nothing really wrong. And I spent, like, all the Call of Duties, okay, BO2 is my most played, 100%. And I'm not just saying that. Just because, or right right now, I'm saying that BO2 is my most played Call of Duty because it is the greatest Call of Duty. That simple. These two games are the greatest Call of Duty games in the world. That's about it, man. What else can you say? What else can you say? And plus, the zombies were okay in BO2. But if you're sick of BO2, you could jump to BO3 and play zombies. Because the zombies in there were the greatest fucking part of the game. Multiplayer in this game, fucking incredible. So I always switch between BO2 and BO3, BO2, BO3, BO2, multiplayer, BO3, zombies, or multiplayer. Whatever floats my boat that day. I always switch between these two. And I loved it. I loved every single fucking second. So, uh, yeah, that's my list. Let's just go down the list. BO3, BO2, DMZ, S tier, Warzone, Cold War, World at War, and Modern Warfare 2 and A. AW, IW, Blackout, Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2, oh, that's 2019. Mod 4, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3 at B. Ghost, Black Ops 4, and Warzone 2 at C. World War 2 and Vanguard at D, and I never played these. Thank you for fucking watching, and uh, I'll see you guys fucking later, alright?